uh, uh, you know, for IIT Madras for their uh, DC uninterrupted homes projects. These are DC power based 100 mo uh, liters refrigerator which consumes only 100 watts of power. It's cheaper than the Godrej 100 liters refrigerator and it works on a technology which is uh, non compressor based. It's thermoelectric technology based. So if you look at this machine, uh, it does not have a compressor and it has got a, a, a thermoelectric uh, technology. It's a prototype of that uh, which we have uh, now put and uh, this can hold uh, milk uh, which is separately held here and you can actually uh, uh, isolate from a hygiene perspective the milk separately from the vegetables and other things. Same lines. Uh, we had an interesting story uh, when I was in Chennai in the uh, last year, December 2000. Uh, uh, you know, December 2015, when I was in Chennai, there was a flood and there was a lot of water shortage. Water was there everywhere. There was rain. There was water, but there was no drinking water. People were actually putting water in helicopters uh, from the top in uh, you know polythene packaging bags, and uh, people were drinking that water. So there I had one idea which came to my mind that if this is the case and there is so much humidity in Chennai, why don't we create a product which can generate water from air and that uses minimum electricity and in case direct power is not available, can it use solar or battery? Conventional air, air to water generators which generate water from air using the process of condensation similar to uh, uh, dew drops that happen in winter in places like Delhi or uh, uh, Punjab. The same phenomenon we have packaged inside this machine. The differentiation from the competition or the, the products that are available in the market is that this does not again use a compressor to create that condensation. It uses thermoelectric technology along with evaporative cooling. In case the deserts or dry areas have water, which is typically dirty water, very very dirty water, non-potable water, which is anyway going to the gutter. If that water can be provided to us and used in this machine, then that can create extra humidity. And we have arrangements to purify the air which is coming out of that and getting condensed. If you look at, this is the water that is getting uh, generated. And yeah, it is just coming out like this. Uh, as we know that a lot of pollution is happening and a lot of uh, 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 the reduction of oxygen is happening in the atmosphere and especially if you go to mountainous areas or you go for trekking or for pilgrimage or for people who have asthma or respiratory illness, there is always a demand for getting fresh oxygen so that uh, you know it gives a sense of freshness and also uh, it is good for your health. So uh, there is a need for packaging uh, water along with oxygen, especially for mountaineering, trekking and all these things. And there was an inventor in the US who came with this uh, innovation, but he could not take it to the market because there is no way to package two uh, liquids or two gases or one gas and one liquid in this pet bottle innovation. Uh, this actually is a pet bottle and it is made from pet. This has got, this has got a, a separate cap. Uh, which has got an arrangement for uh, taking out the oxygen and you have these two buttons which can be pressed and then you can generate oxygen and this is the cap for the purpose of holding uh, uh, and drinking water. There is actually an oxygen can in this uh, uh, you know innovation. So this can has got a compressed uh, oxygen to the tune of 25 puffs for 2 seconds. Each of 2 seconds you can take 25 puffs. So if this is over, you can refill this because the, the product which you are making for a client has the arrangement to also supply this oxygen can separately uh, which can be given on demand.